हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक मिक्स्ड क्रॉपिंग सो लेट्स मूव ऑन फर्स्ट वी विल फोकस ऑन मिक्स्ड क्रॉपिंग व्हाट इज मिक्स्ड क्रॉपिंग मिक्स्ड क्रॉपिंग इज द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ ग्रोइंग टू और मोर क्रॉप्स साइमल्टेनियसली ऑन द सेम पीस ऑफ लैंड इन ए प्रोपोर्सन विदाउट एनी रो अरेंजमेंट बाई मिक्सिंग द सीड्स ऑफ डिफरेंट क्रॉप्स where one being the main crop and others are subsidiary so by the definition it is clear that there is cultivation of more than two crops where these seeds are mixed thoroughly before sowing and there is no any row ratio or plant spacing methods and these seeds are sown randomly in the field now objectives of mixed cropping Mixed cropping is aimed to minimize the risk of crop failure. This technique is practiced to decrease the risk of total crop failure due to adverse or unfavorable climatic conditions like drought or less rainfall. Second objective is to get at least one crop in a favorable condition. Because in mixed cropping we are growing two or more than two crops so even if some adverse situations are prevailing it may be favorable to minimum one crop so farmer is assured to get minimum harvest so there will be no problem of any scarcity of food grains by growing this method mix cropping is done to fulfill the needs of a family for cereals pulses and vegetables because mixed cropping is generally having the pattern to grow the crops belonging to cereals pulses and vegetables so the farmers is getting different type of produce as per their requirement as mixed cropping existence is concerned mixed cropping is common practice in rain fed or dry farming areas rain fed agriculture is a type of farming that relies on rainfall for water and it provides much of food consumed by poor communities in developing countries and in case of mix cropping the sowing is done by broadcasting or drilling the mixture of seed with the help of seed drill or mogan can be attached behind the seed drill for sowing of mix crop mogan is a single tube drill which is used in the different areas for sowing purpose crop selection in mixed cropping in general it is believed that planting multiple crops simultaneously helps save a space as different crops in the same field usually ripen at different seasons furthermore this technique also helps restoring soil fertility as the remains of one plant aid the growth of another plant which helps increasing the overall yield the crops for mixed cropping are selected on the basis of their water need during season their nutrient requirement and the time required to grow and ripen so there are parameters on the basis of which the farmers are selecting the crop as per their need and other parameters there are various crop combinations in mixed cropping Usually cereals are grown as main crop and pulses or oil seeds are grown as minor or mixed crop Generally legume crops like red gram black gram green gram cowpea or oil seed crops like groundnut mustard etc are mixed with cereal crops like wheat jowar or bajra The widely used combinations under mixed croppings are like growing wheat and gram wheat and mustard groundnut with sunflower maize with green gram and pigeon pea sorghum grown with groundnut and pigeon pea and fodder sorghum with fodder cow pea so these are the main combinations which are generally followed in different growing ecologies here to study the characteristics or features of mixed cropping Mixed cropping is a cropping technique in which two or more than two crops are planted simultaneously in the same piece of land. 
and is this cropping system there is no no set patterns as row spacing or plant spacing and the crop is sown randomly by mixing of the seeds all crops are sown at the same time and prior to sowing the seeds of various crops are being mixed before they are sown and there are same fertilizers and pesticides which can be used for all crops because there is no any specific row patterns or a separation among them so we have to go for selection of such fertilizers and pesticides which may be common cropping is practiced to minimize the risk of crop failure due to unfavorable climatic conditions and because of mixing of seeds no any spacing patterns there are competition existing between the crops and equal emphasis is given to all crops in mixed cropping and all crops have a similar life cycle and duration of maturity advantages of mixed cropping as in mixed cropping we are growing more than two crops it may be two three or four crops so even in unfavorable weather conditions the chances of complete failure is very less so there will be assured income to the farmer from some crop so we can say there is risk of failure less in mixed cropping mixed cropping fulfills the daily requirements of food grain crops oil seed crops pulses etc because there is combination of various crops mixed cropping is having improved fertility of the soil if legumes are taken as minor crops as we know that legumes cro crops are having nitrogen fixation a capacity so they are supplying the nutrient as nitrogen to the soil which is beneficial to the other crops in mixed cropping there is better distribution of labor works throughout the crop period because different crops are grown and there will be requirement based on necessity in mixed cropping there will be increase in gross monetary returns because we are combining different types of crops having nature like cereals oil seeds pulses vegetables and other crops so the farmers can gain the income on the basis of combination of crops there is well balanced cattle feed available because of mixed cropping because uh, different types of uh, crop residue will be available to feed the animals mixed cropping is working as a safeguards against pests and diseases because it is having the combination of various crops so the pest attack will be less compared to a specific crop and there will be full utilization of a space and available plant nutrients because there is a dense plant population and no in row, row spacing a specific and a plant spacing so a space is properly utilized and whatever the fertilizers that are added to the fields it will be complied by the crop there are some limitations associated with mixed cropping in mixed cropping as we are mixing the seeds of various crops and going for sowing randomly without following any planting pattern like row spacing and plant to plant spacing within a crop so this is causing some troubles in field cultivation practices methods because of mixing of various crops uh, there is sometimes uh, becoming difficulty in controlling pests because we can't go for selective application of pesticide due to nature of various crops having different responses to the insect and pests sometimes the mixed cropping is also impacting the yield of main crop because of competition within the crops so selection of the crops is very very important and if weather conditions are not favorable it may result in low yielding in mixed cropping there is difficulty in the use of fertilizers at various crop stages because of various crop nature and their responsiveness to the fertilizer application there is also difficulty in crop harvesting because the crops are mixed and sown randomly 
so we have it will take a lot of time and labor engagement for the harvesting of crops and we can't go for a machinery usage so in in, in mixed cropping a single alternative is only for manual harvesting as a result of harvesting all the crops together there is also difficulty in threshing operations because after harvesting we have to sort out the separate the crops and after then we have to follow threshing operations and there are also uh, chances of mixing of different crops seeds in each other now to study in brief about intercropping intercropping is also a type of mixed cropping but there is having little difference intercropping refers to simultaneous production of two or more than two dissimilar crops in a definite row ratio pattern or a specific row arrangement on the same piece of land at the same time in intercropping there is combination of legume and non legume crops intercropping is slightly differing with mixed cropping and this difference exists on the basis of planting pattern in intercropping we are following a specific row ratio within various crops and plant spacing also maintained but in case of mixed cropping the crops are grown but they are sown randomly and there is no a specific row arrangement and a spacing plant spacing system so this is the difference on the basis of arrangement of sowing so this presentation was all about mixed cropping hope this will be useful to all of you thank you very much i have given here my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind of valuable feedback thank you